easy math okay today let's learn about arithmetic progression in previous video on progressions we learned about sequences some basic sequences okay now there is an important observation in arithmetic progression if you see the general term of the arithmetic progression first term will be a second term a plus d third term a plus 2d fourth term a plus 3 a plus 3d and so on and nth term a plus n minus 1d and here if you observe carefully first term and the last term the sum of first term and the last term is equal to the sum of mth term from the first and mth term from the last means for example there is a arithmetic progression with five numbers 1 3 5 7 9 as you can see these are odd numbers now what is the sum of first and last term 1 plus 9 it's 10 okay what is the second term from first it is 3 what is the second from second term from last it is 7 okay 3 plus 7 is 10 and what is the middle term 5 if we add 5 and middle term from last it is also 5 5 plus 5 10 this is the important observation you should remember this there are so many uses of this in the future Okay, now sum of n terms. What is the sum of n terms in arithmetic progression? Sum of n terms is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1d if last term is not known. Okay, the general formula is sum of n terms is equal to n by 2 into a plus l where l is the last term. Okay, here yeah, last term. What is the formula to find the last term? It is a plus n minus 1d. The last term is in the form a plus n minus 1d. If you substitute that, it becomes a plus a plus n minus 1d. a plus a 2a and n minus d remains same. As you can see from this formula, we got our first formula. Similarly, in our first formula, if you write 2a as a plus a and a plus n minus 1d becomes l, so you can get this formula. Okay, now. Let's take some proofs to prove that the sum of n terms is n by 2 into a plus n or n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1d. Okay, now let's check our first logical based proof. Okay, from observation above, let's, let us imagine am be the mth term from first and lm be the mth term from last because last term we imagined as m. Okay, from observation above, a m plus L m is equal to A plus L, right? For mth term from first and mth term of last sum is equal to sum of first and last term. Okay, then what will be the total A plus L's? How many A plus L's will we have in total? First term and last term is one. Second term from first and second term from last is another. Third term from first and third term from last is another. Means, now we took six terms. We have three. So, what will be the total a plus l's? They will be n by 2. So, sum of n terms is n by 2 into a plus l. Right? Sum of n terms is n by 2 into a plus l. Okay, if you substitute l is equal to a plus n minus 1d, you will get the another formula. As we discussed before. Okay, now let's take solved proof. Okay, if you take Sn is equal to, let's take Sn as the sum of n arithmetic, sum of first n terms in the arithmetic progression. Okay, Sn is equal to a plus a plus d plus a plus 2d plus and so on until a plus n minus 2d plus a plus n minus 1d. Okay, now if I write the reverse, it becomes Sn is equal to a plus n minus 1d plus a plus n minus 2d plus a plus n minus 3d plus and so on plus a plus d plus a. Okay, you can write that reverse also because addition have commutative law. Okay, now if we add these two, then 2sn will be a plus a plus n minus 1d, a plus a 2a, 2a plus n minus 1d. Similarly, here a plus a 2a n minus 2 d is plus 1 d it becomes n minus 1 d 2 a plus n minus 1 d and so on last one 
a plus a, 2a plus n minus 1d, 2a plus n minus 1d. So 2sn is equal to, here, how many 2a plus n minus 1d's are present? 1, 2, and so on, up to nth term, means, nth, means there are total of n 2a plus n minus 1d's, means 2s, 2sn is equal to n into 2a plus n minus 1d. Okay, now if 2 goes to the other side, it becomes sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1d. As we discussed above, if we divide 2a as 2a plus a, it becomes a plus a plus n minus 1d, which is nothing but a plus l. So sn is equal to n by 2 into a plus l. Geometric progression. Names to be pretty difficult. Okay, geometric progression is a series in which terms are being multiplied by an by any real number R. Here R is called as common ratio. Okay, the first term will be A. Second term, it is multiplied by a real number. Let's take that real number as R. Second number is A into R. Third is A into R square. Fourth a into r cube, then what will be the nth? It will be a into r power n minus 1, right? So, nth term is equal to a into r power n minus 1. Okay, what will be the geometric mean? Okay, the geometric mean is a into l whole power 1 by 2 or square root of a into l, where a is the first term, l is the last term. Okay, then what will be the what if there are n geometric means in between two terms in a geometric progression, then the common ratio of that is L by A whole power 1 plus n 1 by n plus 1 or L n plus 1th root of L by A. Okay, L means last term. It is A into R power n minus 1. But here, last term is not a into r power n minus 1 because there are, there are n geometric means in between. Then what are the total terms? There are just n geometric means. And first term and last term is also is not included in that n. So, total terms are n plus 2. Then what will be the L? It is a plus a into r power n plus 1. So, if we divide those, it becomes r power n plus 1. We need common ratio r. So, we should do n plus 1 th root. So, the com if there are n geometric means in between two, num two terms in this series, then the common ratio is L by A whole power 1 by n plus 1 or n plus 1 th root of L by A. Then, what is the sum of first n terms? The sum of first n terms in a geometric progression is a into r power n minus 1 by r minus 1. Okay, here the another thing. Here also the product of first and last terms is equal to the product of mth term from starting and mth term from ending. Then what is the sum of infinite terms? Okay, how is sum of infinite terms possible? They will be keep on increasing. That's why we are mentioned that R should be less than 1. Where R is a positive real number. R should just be a positive real number. And it should be less than 1. Then the formula is a by 1 minus r. Another thing, r can be 0 too. Because if r is 0, if you substitute in this formula, it becomes a. If you take normally, first term is yes. From second term onwards, all will be 0. So, it will be a. For example, let's take an example with first term as 2 and common ratio 1 by 2. Then, first term is 2, second term is 1. Third term is 0 0.5, fourth term is 0 0.25, 0 0.125, 0 0.0625. It will be 
continuing. Okay, if you add them, it becomes 2 plus 1, 3, plus 0 0.5, 3.5, plus 0 0.25, 3.75, plus 0 0.125, 875, and it will be keep on getting nearer to 4. If we take infinite terms, as we learned in previous video, infinite is not a number. It is a symbol which denotes a number keeps on increasing its value towards unlimited. It is called as infinity. Then it will be, then the total value will be a by 1 minus r. We will derive this and the sum of n terms in the next video. Okay, this is for today's video. If you like the video, hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button, ring that bell icon, and notify you when I release a new video. If you have any doubts, comment down below. I will answer them in the next video.